everybody and welcome to a very exciting Eurovision Hub video. Today it is my great honor that I get to interview Nathalie Bredolf, one of the artists who will compete in the Festival in 2021. But before we do that, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And now I'm talking to Natalie, hello! Hello! hello. <laughs> First of all, congratulations for Thank being my first in Melfast. It's really exciting. Yes, it's so exciting. Thank you. Because, like, I guess the Swedish people know you mostly from the Swedish Idol back in 2018. Yeah. Yes, that, I suppose so. Yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and we know that Melfest, Melody Pesvalen, is so big internationally and obviously locally. What made you think that I want to be in Melfest? Oof. It's a tough one because I, I think that I've watched a show for so long for, for when I was growing up and I just, every time it turned on, I turned on the TV and watched it, I was like, oh, damn, I want to do this. And then <laughs> I forgot it until the next year. And I was like, oh, I want to do this again. <laughs> so it, it's always been on my mind, but it hasn't been, I don't know if it's been my, my main focus like that, but um, I, I think I had a, a vision of doing Idol and then it just came naturally to do a uh, Melody Festival because it, it just felt so natural and I, I love the concept and then Melody Festival was the, the perfect next step for me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it, it kind of grew on me, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Now your song is called Fingerprints and mm -hmm. we know you can't tell us everything, but can you tell us a little bit what it's going to sound like? Um, so the song is built up uh, on piano um and it's very organic and um it's it's like it's it feels real you can you get the emotions out a very genuine song sorry a very genuine song yes yes um heartfelt so mm -hmm. it's just um yeah i i hope it it gets to the heart it it did to me when i heard it the first time can you talk us through the creation process? Like, how did you get this song? So I know that this song was written two years ago uh, at a, a songwriting camp. And it was actually created after the sessions were done for the day. And uh, Anna Clara Fulin and um, Etta Salmani uh, went into the studio after everyone was done, um, after they had dinner and everything. And they just wanted to lighten their hearts, I think. Um, talking about like making a song about how they felt maybe they had been writing songs to other people during the day and they just I think they realized that they had created something very special and then they brought other people in into the song and um made it to, into perfection <laughs> did you have yeah. a vision of what you wanted your mouth song to look like or sound like what like, was it this song or did you have something else in mind if you ever considered doing mail first? I haven't really had a clear vision of it, but I was a bit scared when I heard the song because I, I'm a bit frightened to do a, a ballad in, uh, in Melfest because, well, it, it, I, I want to win this contest. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a goal for me. I don't want to, I don't just want to, I, of course I want to be seen and um, by the Swedish, everyone who's watching and I, I want to show myself as an artist but um it would be amazing to to be able to compete for Sweden as well in, in the whole of Europe so um for th for that sake I've been a bit scared about it but when I heard the song when I heard this song then I, I knew that this, this was just too good it, I had to do it it just felt it, right yeah it did now this is very early in this whole process of Melfa season have you thought anything about the staging yet? I have a bit. Uh, since the song is so organic, I want to show that on stage as well. And I usually, like, it, it feels so right to me to just do it like that because I don't usually wear a lot of makeup, as you can see. And um, I, I feel like I want it, want it to be natural and just um, so it feels like I, I wanted to make people feel like they can relate to it um, so it's not too much happening on stage and you can just feel the raw emotion of it. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the goal, I think. That sounds really exciting because people love like a beautiful staging, nothing too much. Yeah. The song to come out. That's amazing. Now we're going to play a little game mm -hmm. called the Song Association Game. Mm -hmm. So I say a word and you sing the first Melfest song that you can think of. All right? Oof. Don't Melfest. worry. <laughs> no stress. If you can't come up something, it's all right. It's just for fun. All right? Okay. The first one is love. Mm. Well, it translated into Sweden then. Me and Shalik, aha, Skovina, aha, na 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 Classic. Love it. Love it. <laughs> the next word is disco. Uh, blame it on the disco, blame it on the night. Uh oh, we're gonna party tonight. Yes, that's a good one. That's a I love good one. <laughs> now, from all the other artists that we know is gonna peak, you included, which one are you most excited to hearing from? Oof, wow, there's been so many names that I've been like, Wow, and I, I've met a lot of people on these camps, so I'm really excited to meet all those guys again. Um, for example, Clara Hammarström, Paul Ray, I, these guys I met before, and it's going to be so much fun. And also Cariado, of course, because uh, we competed together in Idol, and that's going to oh, be yeah. so fun. <gasps> yeah. Like a little reunion, I love it. Yeah, I know, it's like a, a mini reunion. <laughs> <laughs> So have you talked to the people who has done Malfest before? Like, have they given you any advice? Um, I have been writing together with Dotte a bit. And uh, we have had a lot of contact and uh, I've been asking her a lot of questions. And I'm, I, every time I'm like, ah, please don't hate me. <laughs> I have to ask you a bit more. <laughs> you like your secret twin? Because you guys do look very similar. <laughs> we should probably do a, a DNA test. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> now, talking about Eurovision, Sweden has one of the best track records. Like, we do very well in Eurovision. If you would win, do you think you will feel that pressure? Oh, definitely. I think everyone does. And I think that all the countries does. Mm -hmm. Even though, I mean, if, if you usually place low in the contest the you really want to show that uh, you can do better and yeah you can stand up for the country and it, it's so it, it it sounds so big even when you say it like stand up for your country it's it's insane but it would be it would be just amazing okay so what is this might be a hard question what is your all-time favorite melody for song and song hmm I mean, I love Euphoria, but it's such a basic answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's so crystal clear. It's so, so good. It was so perfect in time as well. That year, it was what the world needed, kind of. It brought the contest, you know, up a level. Yeah, that, that's what it felt like. Yeah, it was yeah. like a new era of Eurovision. Would you say that your favorite Eurovision song too? Uh, well, I love the last one, um, the, the last winner. Well, okay. There's so many. All I know, all I know, you is a losing game. So beautiful, yeah. So okay. there's a lot of, there's a lot of songs that I, I love. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all the questions I have. I am so excited. We're all so excited that you're going to be with us. Oh my goodness, best of luck. <laughs> thank you so going much. Going to kill it. I just have a feeling you're gonna kill it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us. I hope thank you so much. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.